Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to the Choking Hazard podcast where Rockstar bought 5M for <laughs> total shock. What is going to happen now? We're going to discuss it all today. Uh, we're going to hear from server owners who I've hit up to get some responses from. We're going to try and unpack it all. This video is brought to you by my real life racing series. Usually ranked as the best series I do by those who watch it, it really does contain some of my favorite videos to make. Catch up on all the action with the link in the description. I'm here with two of my usual co-hosts. Sugar Free Noss, over there. That's me, I'm here. I'm here to give my opinion because everyone loves my opinions <laughs> on things. We got Josh down there. Yeah, I'm opinions too, I suppose. Hello. <laughs> Um, and we've tried to, we, this, this podcast has come together very, very, um, in, sh in, in very short amount of time, basically this, this announced, this was announced last night and I just went into the podcast channel and said, Hey, is anyone available to do a quick podcast about this? We got Nos and Josh, but obviously RDT right and Hammer weren't available. I have, I've appeared out of bed to, to <laughs> yeah. give my opinion on this. Woke up early. Um, so Yeah. Rockstar has officially bought 5M. For those who don't know, we'll go back to absolute basics. 5M is a multiplayer mod for single player GTA 5. Um created entirely sort of by the community. It's it's you know the whole modding scene. Created a a, a platform where there are multiple different servers. Each server has their own, you know, systems and how they run and what they're focused on. A lot of it is role play type stuff, which is, you know, what dominates Twitch basically. Uh, but then you've also got racing servers like Project Homecoming that I do the random races on, like uh, Eighth Gear, where we've had those massive 200 player G Freds, um, and and there's sort of game servers and and different types of stuff. But um, yeah, basically. Rockstar have bought that um, and I don't think anyone really knows what to make of it <laughs> because it was a while I feel like it was a while ago that Rockstar said um, they, they put out a, a sort of announcement about 5M and the modern community and said look we're not going to really do anything we're not going to shut it down or anything like that and I suppose if they wanted to they could have just you know sent a cease and desist but it would have been a ridiculous amount of backlash so I guess they've thought if you can't beat them, join them. But what it was like, they own 5M now. They can do whatever they want with it. They own it. It's theirs. So my, I guess I'm coming at this from based on everything that I've seen over the last 10 years of covering GTA 5 and Rockstar games. I guess my default state hearing this news is abject negativity. Um, like expecting this to be the moment that we look back on as the end of 5m as we know it in a way um but you know i don't want that to be the case and it from what they're saying it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case but i am sort of hopeful at least of hearing maybe josh <laughs> seemingly might be able to give the counter perspective to that to to try and uh sway me the other way but i think both myself and nos are in that like immediate negativity side how is it going to be how are they going to monetize it you know what what's it going to be like going forward are they just we'll get into it but that's my default state based on everything that i've seen of from rockstar over the last 10 years of gta online so it's kind of worrying that a previously fully community run thing is now in the hands of rockstar basically and it's a shame that we have to feel like that but Give me, give me a different opinion, Josh. I, 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 I need something. I need a, I need something positive. Okay. Um, the way I see it is the Rockstar. I, I, I looked it up. I can't see any instance. I can't remember, or I can't find any note of any instance of any time Rockstar has ever done anything like this before in the past, where they've like bought a mod or a modding team or something. I don't know if anyone. Maybe chat knows of something. I know but, they've bought studios, right? And um, yeah, turned they, them into, they, but never, never yeah, anything from they, the community side. Yeah, they, they, that's the only acquisition acquisitions I can find are like studio ones. Yeah, like Rockstar Dundee and Rockstar New England, Rockstar India. They, they were called something different beforehand, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, um, I've never seen them do this before, um, and this is like very different for them. 
So, like you said, like, I, I don't know how well known it is or whatever, but in the past, Rockstar has tried to shut GTA 5, uh, 5M down, right? Yeah. Like, in... in Wait, they actually have? Uh, in, I, I'm going to read this article. Okay. In 2015, Rockstar banned the team behind the 5M mod, calling the project an unauthorized alternative multiplayer service that contains code designed to facilitate piracy. Um, okay. I, I don't know about 5M back in 2015. Uh, I thought it was. Uh, I thought they they had um, issues when they tried to. Did they try to do something or take down? Um, oh, what's it called? Open IV. Um, they they tried. Yeah, to they did. They did that as well. They got on like a like a real nice anti modding kick. Mm, okay. And I think yeah. because I think because of that that I I may be incorrect on this, but I think that's when Five M really like laid kind of the groundwork of like checking if you have a legal copy of the game yeah okay. you know, that's in order that's what to i was it. that's what i was gonna say because when i i only used 5m like in the past few years right and like it's just like you start it and it's like great you gotta have this you gotta have this you gotta authorize your account and all this stuff so it's like they were very careful about the whole making sure it's not a piracy thing which for the record is good in my opinion yeah, 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 like, yeah i think yeah. i think that's very good yeah, that, that's how all of these sorts of mods should work, like total conversion ones, or like uh, even the ones that are like a fan remaster. It's like you have to have the game installed for yeah. it to the patch or whatever. And uh, surely anyway, the, that has led to a lot of sales of GTA V. Yeah. Like, it has and, to have done. Yeah. I, uh, I also, mean, there's, there's probably very few people who buy GTA on PC, like now, not to play 5M. I would, yeah. I would, I would hypothetically assume. Yeah. No, but no. I mean, nobody's playing the single player anymore, and and GT Online. Like, I, I mean, people still play it, of course, but. Mm, you know. I think you're underestimating how much money this makes still. But anyway, uh, yeah. Also, they the 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 founder of the mod alleged that Take Two sent private investigators to the house to try to intimidate them into shutting down the project and stuff like that. But this is all in 2015. Okay. This is stuff that's happened before. I, I don't know this, the history of it and stuff, but they have tried to do this before. Um, to give some insight from my perspective, when I went to uh, London to meet up with the Rockstar community team, um, I'm pretty sure that'll never happen again, but this is when they didn't <laughs> completely hate me and I was blacklisted from them. Um, <laughs> the the, the I, I remember bringing up 5M at that time. I can't remember when it was. We did talk about it on the podcast when it happened. Uh, it's probably titled something like "Finding yeah, like Visiting Rockstar Officers" or something like that. If anyone wants to go back and look, but I do remember asking them about Five M, and and they said that at this point, at that point anyway, there's basically nothing that they could do. Like they could shut it down if they wanted, but it was so big and so um, uh, such a huge thing at that point that there's no way that they could. If they did, they would be, you know. It would be almost the end for them to to make a move like that um, and ruin it for so many people, and especially when it you know it actually might help them when it comes to keeping the game you know up there on Twitch or whatever. Um, so it's clear that I think it's been an issue for them for a while trying to figure out what to do with it and how to approach it, and I guess now they've finally decided that if we can't if we, if we can't shut it down. We'll buy it and make it our own. Out of interest, who who at Rockstar did you talk to? Just like the actual devs? Uh, no, the the community, like the the UK, like almost the UK press team, the UK community oh, team, okay, um, okay, okay. based in London. Well, not devs. Well, what, 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 unfortunately, okay, well, what I what I would say first of all is that those people aren't the ones making the decisions. So well, I know that community yeah. answer, but but yeah, still for them to actually say something. But but yeah, it's like yeah. They, I don't know, like this. They've done that. They've never done this before. I can't think of any other mod in the past. And like, you can say like, you could say like, oh, maybe they don't have a legal right to shut it down. Like, maybe it's actually like Paul perfectly above board or whatever. And I would say that's never stopped Nintendo. Yeah, like, like, yeah, that's true. You know, it's, it's, it's it doesn't matter, right? Like the Rockstar lawyers are so. They, Take Two is such a massive corporation. May, the community backlash is something different. Obviously. I think that's what but they I were mean, talking about in particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But legality-wise, it doesn't matter, right? Like you just they're a bunch of like open source devs. They wouldn't have any pushback. Um. But yeah, but then yeah, then their 
So they tried to do it in 2015, the usual tactic. And then we've seen it recently with all the Definitive Edition coming out. They like shut down all of the like HD mods for SA and all those other sorts of stuff. The uh, mods that yeah, combined all the now. games, like GTA United, that combined all three. 3D games together into one map got shut down. All that stuff. Wasn't there a um, a reverse engineered like GTA 3 yes, thing yep, in the works or something right. and that got shut down as well? Yep, 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 that's right. Yeah, re free VC and SA. Yeah. yeah, and all the re, yeah, they all got shut down. Yeah, because they would literally, you could, they ported the game to Switch, right? Which is like, it's like, oh, hello, we're about to do that ourselves. Please stop, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, all of that got shut down. So they've, they've done all this stuff in the past. And I don't, I just don't know why they would, why, I don't know why they would buy 5M or the com or CFX.re or whatever. They would buy them. Then they would announce to the public that they had bought them, tell everyone about it, and for the sole purpose of shutting it down or ruining it. Why wouldn't they just, if they, if, if for whatever reason they couldn't, they couldn't do it legally, or they couldn't do it some other way. They were like, okay, the only way we can get rid of it is to buy them and then shut them down. Why would they post about it? Why wouldn't they just buy them and then... The, on... the spin, bro! The oh. spin! <laughs> it's the spin! They're trying like you to... Open, see... You open 5M one day, and there's a little announcement. Oh, we've been shut down by Rockstar. Bye. No, you know, like... <laughs> well, well, no, they're not doing... Okay, so so this is why... I can't really have a, 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 like, a like a fleshed-out opinion on this, right? Because I don't know how this is going to be bad for the consumer okay i do, yeah. i can't i can't picture how i just know it will be okay i just the, every <laughs> every fiber of my being every bone in my body every particle within my existence tells me this is bad for the consumer and that 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 that's just where i stand and that's why i can't really have such a like oh i think they're going to do this and they're going to do this and they're going to do this i mean I don't think that they would buy it without plans to monetize it in some way. And any type of monetization of 5M, which is inherently a project to, like, not be monetized and to be kind of, you know, ran by the community and, and, and influenced by the community, taking that away is going to be bad for the user. I just... Yeah, I don't think they'll ruin it. I don't think they'll shut it down because then that that would be pointless in buying it. I think you're correct in that assessment. It's it's just there's either they're gonna charge for charge for it or they're gonna have like some maybe some kind of official Rockstar servers that you buy things on or they're gonna have like I don't know. I my mind cannot even think <laughs> of the ways in which this in all of the ways it could be monetized, but I know it's real, I know it exists, and I know it's gonna happen. And it's not gonna happen today or tomorrow, or probably in a month, but six months from now when they finally get their plan together and they introduce five M plus or some garbage <laughs> Everyone's everyone's gonna be coming to my house with pitchforks because yet again I was right. Yet again I predicted <laughs> the future, and people can't handle it. That's 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 how I feel about it. I... Uh, any, well, just to just to one more thought is like I said. I think any time control over something is taken from the community or from the user and put in the hands of a corporation, that's bad. That just just blanket that's almost always is bad yeah uh, there's some okay so i quite quite honestly you're probably right let's be real but, <laughs> but i i don't know what the like you say they would monetize it like how, how many players does 5m have like actively and how many A does lot. gta online have hold, hold like, on. I, I honestly don't know the size right so you find that out but I I I I don't know the motivation like I I don't think the motivation would be to just like monetize it How? Like... Okay so so this is just I just pulled up the Okay wait that might be hold on that that's I I'm seeing an estimate here this is from a while ago that like approximately like 12,000 people daily like yeah, in okay. users, you know, three million users. I mean, that would that would be, you know, very big on like if it was a game on Steam charts, you know. 
Let's see here. Active it, players. W- w- whatever the case is, it's not going to be as big as actual GTA Online, I would say. Like, I I think the motivation here is more of like, if you actually read their statement, I know it's just PR bullshit, but if you actually read it, they say it's the role play and creator communities. And I think these are two communities or whatever that GTA Online doesn't serve. I think they're just expanding the portfolio. Like if you, if you go on, okay, so like if you go on Twitch and you look at GTA 5, right? Literally every single stream with more than like 100 viewers or whatever is 5M, right? <laughs> I get like, people sometimes coming into my stream saying, "Oh my god, an actual vanilla GTA yeah, Online stream!" Right? <laughs> like for, for, from their perspective, they literally do not control the like the creator community and role play community for this game. Right? The, the reason this is like, it, I'm not sure how much they care, but the reason this is big on like Twitch and YouTube and stuff is all of the five M things. I I I think they just want control over that part and. It, the, the 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 most optimistic answer is going to be oh they want this for GTA six so they're giving it to them early by Bullshit. buying them I know right like it's obviously no, they I don't probably know how much don't want this for GTA six yeah. <laughs> they just put okay, it down but like but uh, I don't know like I I when I see a game company buying a modding thing the only thing I ever think of is Valve. And the way that they run their business, which is like, that's, that's yeah, that's all they do. All of their port, like, Valve's current portfolio of all their most biggest games are all originally mods that they have bought the devs of. Dota, which wasn't a mod for a Valve game, but still, Counter Strike was originally a mod for Half Life. Portal was originally a mod. TF2 was originally a mod, right? Like. That, that it's, that's, that's like the Valve business model is like, oh, you have this really cool mod thing, we'll just buy your company and then you just work for Valve and make those things, right? And that's how all those things work. I can't think of other examples of game companies that buy like modding studios or anything. It's true. I, I can't, There's no I precedent can't... really, is there, for like what yeah. this is going to ha- what's going to happen with this? Because yeah, I would exactly. say Rockstar is a very different company to, to Valve as well. De- definitely, definitely. So, I, 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 I'm not suggesting there'd be anywhere near as good as what Valve does, right? There's not going to be like a here's here's five M the official video game, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. like that's not gonna. Yeah, I saw I some know, people right? on Twitter replying saying, "Oh yeah, five M for consoles." <laughs> no, you're not getting I mean, that. I don't. Uh, I'm... Do, pe- 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 do people on people on the uh, X? Or are just they're they're <laughs> delusional, bro. They they're like they're, to, they to... like think that. The Rockstar has come to save them <laughs> from something, you know. So I just this, this can't be good. There's just but, no way. Um, I'm, I'm support, just, to impossible. go back to where we were, 147,000 people supposedly playing um, um, 5M right now. It's like about 200, 231,000 24 hour peak for 5M. So we're looking at about yeah, 200,000 that's, that's, people. That's pretty, and, and part that's pretty of sizable, the, to be fair. I think par- probably part of the reason they bought it is I'm sure they paid like $7 for it, right? <laughs> yeah, like there, mean, yeah. there's, there's no way that they actually paid a what would be a substantial amount of money to them for it. You know, they just said, I'm well, sure we could all... shoot you down if we wanted, and we're going to do so, that. All right, but... <laughs> you got 20 devs, we'll give each of you a million dollars. So. <laughs> like, like I, I, like I don't, I don't, like I mean, nobody's gonna stick to their principles of free user enterprise or whatever. Whenever Take Two comes along and offers you, I mean, probably even a hundred thousand dollars. I know I wouldn't stick to my principles if I was offered a hundred thousand dollars. So, so okay, let me put it an another example. Another thing that I liken to this is the Minecraft situation when Mo- when Microsoft bought Mojang or Mojang or whatever, and bought Minecraft. It's like they had... The Minecraft situation right now is you have the Java version, which you can run your own servers on, you can mod, you can do whatever you want to it. That was the original Minecraft. And then they just made Minecraft Bedrock, which is the lockdown but optimized for consoles. You know, actually has microtransactions and store and stuff in it. It's like, I, I, I just like... 
that, that's a similar situation where a big, massive corporation that normally does quite evil things has bought, like, okay, it's not a mod, but it's like a small team or something, right? Like a modding thing. And they, they, they didn't want... They weren't interested in shutting down the small modding community or whatever, because that's what all the creator stuff is. If you watch YouTube or Twitch of Minecraft, it's all Java edition with like mods and like their own custom servers and all that stuff, right? Um, but they didn't touch that. They weren't interested in that. They wanted to own the brand. This is a bit different, obviously, but they wanted to own the Minecraft brand for like merchandising reasons. They wanted to, yeah, have the control of the console versions of the Bedrock stuff. And it's like, it, it's all these like, alternative like ulterior alteria i don't know how to say that like motives like not the it's not the actual thing that they bought that they want they just need to control over it and I, I wonder how much of again this is similar thing where like if you literally do any sort of like social media or or create a content search of gta 5 it's not rockstar's product that is being shown like i don't know how much of that is a problem to them for like for like legal reasons, maybe like like it like in a well, copyright protection sort of way, like a, a like a, it's a, a, to enforce a copyright of a thing, you have to show that you actually like enforce it in other ways. You can't selectively enforce it. So it might be a case of this thing is so popular and like we're just letting it slide, you know, like it for like a, a trademark defense and legal setting reason that's probably pretty bad so they might literally just want to be able to own it just to have an official thing i i don't know that like I my think opinion that's of this the best case i think that's the best case scenario yes. is yeah. that they just want to go mine and then not touch it i, yeah. I think in any change that they do to it if it is changed at all will be negative it will not be a positive change because I don't, I don't think that they're capable of making a positive change. Because I can't, I can't conceptualize in my mind what a positive change made by them owning it would be. Like I just can't, I can't imagine. Well, I mean, the, like a lot of the benefits from Five M has come from the fact that it isn't in the Rockstar ecosystem. Yeah, and I mean the truth of the matter is, like most of the content that you experience on Five M, maybe not most, but a lot of it is stolen content. Like a lot of the cars stolen from other games a lot of the like you know uh, i mean i don't know about scripts or anything i don't know anything about that the only re thing i really know about is cars or or maps like you know all the all those racetracks you see or whatever they're ripped from other games so there, there's so much uh, what is legally stolen content in use on 5m servers too so it's like how how does that all work with yeah this? you know same, same as in minecraft so the actual like server hosting is not done by Microsoft and anything you run on your own server. Like, you know, there's, there's super Mario stuff. There's, uh, there's probably like funnily enough, GTA stuff like GTA servers. There's, I know there's counter-strike Minecraft servers. I've played on them a few times, but yeah. it's nothing to do with Microsoft, right? This 5M situation is that they own the platform and the code and the, the, the like central server or whatever. They don't own all the other servers like, like project homecoming. They don't own that now. And like anything that's illegal. Oh my! If they want, if they want to buy it, we. Uh, I don't speak for everyone that, that is a dev of the server, but we can sell. We can, we can, we can sell. We will sell. But, but yeah, if they don't. You know that all of the illegal stuff isn't theirs. It's like how on Twitter I can post copyright stuff, and it's like Twitter doesn't get in trouble. It's different. Well, yeah, it's now. like a but layer anyway. removed. Um, yeah and then that could um, go the other way that like one of the benefits of of having rockstar and people are mentioning it in the chat now is that maybe that the, the server owners and, and people who work on the servers will now have official documentation and access to the game and not having yeah. to reverse engineer it or something like that but yeah that, that's, that that's argument a, that's but that positive. argument works the other way like it, it, because if if they're doing a very hands-off approach and they just own 5m then the server owners are left to do their own thing and you're not going to get any extra insight from Rockstar in that way. So it's like, a, do you want the good stuff, but you also might have to have some more involvement and bad stuff, or do you just want them to be completely hands-off and, and, and leave it how it is right now? It, you know, I don't think there's a way that it's only ever going to be positive. And that, I, that... I think, well, the, the one thing I was going to say, just just with your examples, I, I feel like the examples you've given, the motivations are a lot more clear than they are in this situation. It's like when Microsoft bought 
uh, bought Minecraft company, Mojang. <laughs> um, like, I, I mean, I feel like it'd be pretty obvious that they just want to p- put Minecraft everywhere, right? And then when Valve bought all those other things, we're going to make it, you could make a video game out of this. And then they do. You know, with this, like, it re- like we really have no idea what they want to do. You know, and I, I think that that's probably what's so scary. It's so yeah. scary and terrifying yeah, uh, is that we don't know what they're going to do, what they want to do, why this has happened. And I, I, who, who even knows if the people that decided to do this partnership even know what they're going to do, yeah. you know? But that, that's one of I, the things that also is, like, I, I, my trust with Rockstar has eroded significantly over the last 10 years to the point where it's just it's non-existent right now so i don't have any good vibes or any good feelings to give them now because the last 10 years have showed me that they can't be trusted that anything good will come of this like that's my def- for my default state to be they buy a modding company the modding uh, community platform and it not to be that's great for the the modders and the work that they've put in and hopefully it's going to be so much better now that there'll be official support my default state is oh god what are they going to do like that that is showing the thoughts that i have of rockstar right now and that comes from the last 10 years of what they've done so you know it, it's it's tricky because like you say we just do not know what they're planning yeah definitely i i think there are possible positives like i agree like like having the devs it's, it's so in a, in a valve in a perfect valve-esque situation the devs now can fix rockstar's crappy multiplayer code right like, <laughs> uh the, the the gta 6 will have like 6m on release right like possible. just baked into the gta 6 ecosystem maybe uh maybe even but like i i don't i don't know how if they go that far but yeah. like but possibly but or, or it's just like it, or like you know on gta 6 release they really want the the like maybe not immediately but like shortly after they want the social media bump of hey and here's the role play servers like I, I i'm reading their 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 statement again and they literally only talk about the role play servers that's all they're interested in they don't care about the racing servers or anything else and they just keep mentioning oh it's a role play servers oh the role play community and all this stuff. So maybe, I, they, really... maybe they were under the impression that they were buying the role play servers, and the and, and the CFX team completely misled them. Like, oh yeah, we're yeah we're the role play guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then they just sold five M, knowing knowing well that they didn't do any of the RP stuff. They're just the framework guys. It's like, oh yes, RP. We love RP. Money, <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is one way to to look at it. Like they they might be they might have got it to further enhance like their offering in GTA six times and, and what they're gonna do there. But I also thought that maybe it's like the opposite is true where they, when they when they specifically shut down any kind of modding or whatever for GTA six and don't allow anything like six M to exist it's because they can say oh well we now have 5m for all of that stuff that is the place for all that stuff and it will remain the place for all of that stuff we are not going to allow all of that stuff to now exist in the gta 6 ecosystem like a a prolonged um offering that they can give so that then they can have more control over the future thing yeah it's possible that they could be like oh yeah we have an official modding platform it's this now please stop doing other stuff right yeah it's but like is that not still better than absolutely no modders mods of our games or will sue you i I don't know that's still a step up (laughs) and if this is like this is a crappy tiny baby step towards rockstar embracing the modding and (laughs) whatever community even if it is okay fine like you know it's still better that ro- ro- this doesn't change the fact that rockstar will just shut down anything they want anyway yeah yeah yeah. like yeah. they don't need an excuse if they if they needed the oh but we have an official thing excuse then like it doesn't who cares right they yeah. could have done it without that i don't know i i really the, the is the scary thing is that you don't know what their motivation is 
I mean, I, if I, they, really... I, I imagine they'd make they'd make back whatever, like the five dollars they spent on it immediately if they oh, just yeah, charged. Yeah, but... If they just charged a monthly subscription to use five M, I think that that would be the most like smooth brain idea of what they're gonna do. That's gonna be bad, and I I, I would. I, I I wouldn't count it out as a possibility. Five M now part of GTA Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my! Stop. <laughs> Cease. <No. laughs> I mean, that's probably likely, right? Like, well, we don't hey. even ha do we even have GTA Plus on PC? No, not oh. yet. But you know, yes. oh, when, when, oh, you that's why oh, that's yeah. probably why they've waited with expanded and enhanced because now when they release the expanded and enhanced version, they can also say, and all five M will get access to the expanded and enhanced version. All and everything will all work in the ecosystem of GTA Plus for, for the low low price of whatever it is four ninety nine a month or whatever. Hey, that's 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 another positive is that they're actually thinking about the PC versions of their games. Now the PC version of GTA no, Five. No, stop might have thinking to actually, about us. No, might whenever actually, they think about us, things get actually, worse. The, 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 the We're PC not a real platform. GTA, the Don't PC version us. of GTA Six might actually come out at a reasonable time because they want the Six M stuff <laughs> to be published in it. You know. Thing is, I've said for a long time when it comes to um, like. We've been doing all these races and all these car showcases and all the stuff that the modern community have done, whether it's like quite well from people on Project Homecoming, but also the the Vanilla Works mod team and all these other modding guys who who create liveries and car models and and you know everything to do with that. And I'm, I've usually said, I don't know why Rockstar don't just take these liveries and and give some credit or some some kickback to the creators and. And just add them to the main game because these are law friendly, excellent liveries for, and there's like 15 of them for this car, but then they release a car that's got like two liveries or something like that. And in a way, this is kind of what they've done, but they just haven't done the main thing because all of that isn't what they've bought. Like they, they've, they haven't bought any of the, the, the actual cars the mods the liveries the, the game modes that are on different servers that you know none of that is is owned by rockstar now it, it's literally just the framework for these servers to exist so it might be limited like what they can actually do which is both I, a positive and negative in a way yeah i i think the the, the very end of the day this the on the on the surface if we ignore all past history stuff or you know, all oh, they're a bad company, they're probably doing bad with it stuff. At the end of the day, they didn't shut a thing down. Instead, they bought it, which is an improvement. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. You can't argue with that, right? Yeah, like, that's true. 5M still exists, wasn't immediately shut down. It's, I mean, it's better. If they're going to do anything, I wonder how much better. money, because 5M does make money, but. Does it? How? I, because they, um, I'm pretty sure it's like a well, Patreon system. Itself? Yeah, where oh, like to okay. get to get more than thirty players or something like that, you you pay them a set amount, and the more you pay them, the more slots you can have for your server and things like that. Like there's certain features I think that are available on certain servers that you have to pay for as the the owner of the server. Um, but I wonder. I wonder how much money it makes, and I wonder how that will also imp like how any of this will impact any kind of monetization that the servers themselves might have. Like I, I would, I would say you know, the servers that I play on don't, but I'm pretty sure a lot of those bigger RP servers will have some form of pay us extra to get a better position in the queue or, or extra features, or something like that. Like that has to exist, and I wonder how possible that is going to be going forward now that rockstar like, will rockstar basically like you you can't do that anymore but then again like, it's not it's not theirs those servers aren't theirs like yeah yeah again the minecraft situation is the all lots of servers have that stuff monetized okay. stuff on it and microsoft can't do anything about it yeah okay so i wonder if they they literally they, i wouldn't i mean that seems like the closest uh, comparison to to what this is like the the whole Minecraft thing. There, there is this separate thing entirely that it they yeah, own, but, but it's not really under their. Like, what goes on in the actual servers isn't their deal. Yeah, the the problem is with Microsoft. The motivation was obvious because Minecraft is a massive brand, and they could you know monetize it 
in a million different yeah. separate ways. That's true. But yeah, because they were actually like, buying Minecraft outright. They didn't have Minecraft and, and just bought the Plus, server there were, frame. And there yeah. were billions yeah, yeah. of children like yeah, me yeah. that wanted to play Minecraft, yeah, but yeah. at the time did not have computer. So, yeah. But yeah, um, what is their motivation for, for this? And yeah, yeah and exactly. that's, that's the only thing I could possibly understand is that they want control of the creator and role-playing, like, massive scene just just have control of it or the most control they could have like they can't buy individual servers that would yeah be, there's so many of them this is and the most never they can. They yes they can they can buy individual <laughs> servers i can name one right now that they can buy <laughs> <laughs> i mean the, yeah the the they, they can't yeah they can't control really anything to do with the servers and i imagine if they tried to you know it's a it's the community aspect of it if they tried to I mean, aren't there other alternatives to 5M? Like, there's, there's, I know they're not anywhere near as popular, but I'm sure some of those frameworks for modern GTA servers exist or, or have existed over the years. Um, like, the, people will just migrate to those things or, or create a new thing if Rockstar do too much. Yeah, Alt-5 and Rage MP, those, those names ring a bell. Um, but... People would just migrate to that kind of stuff if they try to do too much, I feel. Um, so, yeah, maybe it is just so that they, they have that control over it and they don't really intend to do too much. But I can't help but feel like it has got it has to have something to do with GTA 6, you know, in the oh, future. Yeah. Like, either they don't want GTA 6 to have any of this kind of stuff, then they can say 5M is the offering for that, and GTA 6 is our own thing and we're going to take down anyone who tries to mod GTA 6 or they want to try and like work in some of that functionality in the GTA 6 which I think is less less of a chance but it, it's got to be related to that especially as we get closer and closer to that time they could have I, bought 5M five years ago I think the timing makes sense I don't know I missed the last podcast did you Actually, I don't know if it was out by then. Did you guys see the the latest Take Two Investor? I don't think it was out by stuff? then, actually. Um, no, where okay. they mentioned about that they're going to have massive fiscal improvements in yeah. what was it, twenty twenty four to twenty twenty five. The CEO is telling all of the investors, "Hey guys, don't worry, we're going to make a shit ton of money next fiscal year." For uh, what the exact quote was uh, for. Uh, industry leading new product releases i can't remember the exact quote i'll try to find it but basically gta 6 is coming out fiscal year 2025 which means between april uh 2024 and march 2025 you'd have to so, assume like a september-ish or october october, 2024. october november yeah, yeah september october november 2024 is when gta 5 is coming out in all likelihoods yeah um, I'll try to find the exact quote again. Hang on, but yeah, it was. But 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 the, the, what he says is is he's trying to not say GTA Six, yeah. but tell the investors it's GTA Six. So yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> GTA, GTA Five 6 again is going to be the, the most insane like media release that we've ever seen. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've thought for yeah. a long time they'll do an announcement on the tenth anniversary of the game, like on of GTA Five. 17th of september I've, I've for a long time thought that they would give something like a teaser trailer or something for gta 6 on that date um but yeah it, it, i mean how long was it between the first teaser for gta 5 and the game releasing wasn't it like two years or something so i don't know it feels like i thought it was longer than that i feel like it, it's quite late to, for it to be potentially coming out next year and we haven't had mm. any kind of teaser whatsoever Feels like a short amount of time for what they would normally do. November twenty eleven, September twenty thirteen. Okay. Was that so? That November was, the, was when they first teased it. Yeah. And then it came out September. Yeah, that is true. But I one I don't know. What, what about Red Dead Redemption two? Did they like? And yet, what you've got to remember that also the leak happened, right? Which may be relevant to their like PR plans. Yeah. Like, I'm sure the whole. I'm sure the whole. It was a conspiracy. Like, they sure released the whole, it on purpose. It was a no, conspiracy. No, 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 no. I don't think it's on purpose, <laughs> but I just think the whole marketing team came in early the next day and tore up their entire plan and made a new one, right? Yeah. 
a lot, I think. So it was going yeah. to be spring 2013, so it got delayed. Okay, so yeah, I suppose it's not it's not too far away, I guess. Yeah, well, I mean, they I, can, I mean, then they can do that again. They can plan for you know May. Uh, and then delay it to September, October. They could just do that again. Yeah, it's um. I don't know. I th- yeah, I, the the timing. It's got to be. It's got to be in conjunction with GTA Six in some way. This like they've got to have some thought or plan of how they're going to do things as the ice cream truck starts going outside. Does anyone <laughs> want any ice cream? <laughs> um, they've got to have some plan of how this is going to work into GTA Six either for the betterment of gta 6 or <laughs> this is impossible isn't it? to try and make a point with this going on that's how, that's how i feel right now <laughs> well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go f- i'm gonna go full ronald reagan with my opinion i'm gonna say something the scariest thing i could hear is we're from take two interactive and we're here to help <laughs> <laughs> yeah you start screaming <laughs> in fear you run oh, yeah. I, I, I finally found the quote in fiscal 2025 we expect to enter this new era by launching several groundbreaking titles that we believe will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve 8 billion in net bookings and over 1 billion in adjusted unrestricting blah 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 cash flow blah 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 GTA yeah. 5 on the Switch, GTA Expanded yeah. Enhanced on PC. <laughs> those are your those are your multiple titles. <laughs> no, it's it's it'll be like NBA and <laughs> GTA 5 yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. $50. Six, <laughs> $50. Um yeah, I mean it, it's uh it's interesting times. I think mm. I I it's str- I struggle to feel in any way um <sighs> Uh, hopeful for for GTA 6 you know, especially when they're coming out with quotes like that like the single player I'm sure it's going to be great one time play through going to be a lot of fun really immersive excellent work really polished as single player games for Rockstar always are but then you look at how the online could potentially be based on everything that they've done to GTA 5 online and they'll bake it all in from the start with the insidious monetization and when they're coming out with quotes like set new standards and 8 billion in bookings in a year and whatever, you know, they, they don't say that lightly. Like they know that all of this is going to work and they've got it all baked in immediately. They, it's going to be a hellscape. Yeah. Yeah. It, it'll be a hellscape of monetization. And the cynic in me would suggest that they've bought 5M specifically so that they don't have any kind of competition on that monetization. They can keep 5M as the creator role play option, and then GTA 6, any kind of modding they try to get done with GTA 6, gets immediately shut down, as they are quite happy to do and have shown they're happy to do. And now they've got the GTA 5M there to say, oh, well, it's not so bad that we do it because we've got 5M as an offering now. Mm, like that's, the, again, that's the cynic again. in me. But that's already the situation. The situation you just described, where ah, Five M would take their money, is already the situation. And GTA Online is still making shit tons of money. Yeah, but could but it I, make more? What would be different? Well, okay, sure. But like now, maybe it will that they own Five M, right? And now they just have both. But like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I if they had done nothing, right? And GTA Six comes out and comes out on console first, and a year later it comes out on PC. How long would it take for five M or six M to actually happen? Right, like, I, yeah, it's how long did it take the years, first time? Yeah. Although, yeah, like, well, I, I don't, know, I don't feel like it. it was. I don't. I, if that was their concern, I don't feel like buying five M changes anything. Right? Mm. Like, it, this this will, like you say, motivate people that are like, ah, oh, fuck Rockstar to make to use Alt M or Rage MP or whatever the other ones you said were. Right? Like, those yeah, they're still gonna exist. I am telling you, they, they had to have they had to have bought five M for the equivalent of five dollars in the in <laughs> in the in the in the take two world. And they just they just did oh. it because why not? You know? So yeah, yeah, like that that's that's my theory. Is it was just so so cheap they couldn't help themselves, you know? I mean GT Online for Rockstar has been an unprecedented success, but I would also argue that five M has been a, a community cultural unprecedented success. 
so culturally yes like it, yeah. it it it's going hand in hand that maybe you know rockstar would taken aback by how successful gta online was in a way um but then they've also been caught off guard by how successful the 5m stuff was and that they said that as much to me when i went and spoke to them like they didn't expect it to get oh, as, as big as it did and that was even back in i don't know when it was 2018 2017 whatever and it's only gotten exponentially bigger since then like i don't know i think i when you say that you know they could have just instead of buying it they could have just nuked it and gotten rid of it i, I genuinely don't think they could have and they said that to me as much that the, the the backlash they would have received you saw it when they tried to do something with open iv and that's just a a, a, you know, a a tool used for for single player modding most of the time it was huge they got review bombed on steam it was in all the media you know, i i feel like to take down 5m would have been a step too far and this is this is their way of controlling it without going that extra step and I think it's, I personally think it's related to the GTA 6 closing that down, but being yeah. able to offer something else. I, I think you're right. I I just don't, you all think the outcome of it can only be a net negative. And yeah. maybe. No, but I'm I to... conceded to a net neutral. <laughs> I conceded net... that that was a possibility. Net neutral would be literally the easiest thing for Rockstar yeah, to do. Yeah, that's true. Literally do nothing. Just own it to make it official, so they could. So if something bad happens, they could control, you know, the it if they wanted to, right? Yeah. Like if maybe if it's like you know, there's I can't think of some controversy. Like all all of this Rockstar hates modding stuff all started way back way with hot coffee. Yeah. Ever since then, they've been so against it. Before that, they were for it. Like the the multi the multi theft auto devs for GTA San Andreas were originally given code and documentation by Rockstar. Is that right? Like, way back when, like, I don't know, when the Mo game is, came out. Uh, uh, Multi-Theft Auto, is that the, like, the San Andreas multiplayer thing that's Online. kind of, isn't it like a, it's, a 5M it's, type of thing? Like, there's different yeah, servers and game modes and stuff like that. Okay. It's literally 5M for GTA San yeah, Andreas. And that's like, still going, Before right? 5M. Oh, yeah, yeah, I play it occasionally, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was been yeah, going like, for a long time, hasn't it? But it, it, yeah, for ages. But it was, it was ever since it, hot coffee, and they got into so much legal trouble with it. They've just been like, no, okay, we just can't, can't allow anything. Like we just shut it all down. That's just been their policy ever since then, from a, the legal standpoint yeah. of we cannot have this because we will get into massive legal trouble. And like, hot hot coffee was a massive moment in the entire industry, like not outside of Rockstar even. Like to say, like to set precedent for this, that like a modification can get your game in like serious legal trouble. They literally couldn't sell the game because it was rated like eighteen only or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was yeah. such a massive like moment for everything. It's like a the, the only thing I can think of is larger than that is the the formation of the ESRB in the first place back yeah. in like the NES era, right? Like so or SNES or whatever. But yeah, so like I I. I think it is just a control thing and, like you say, a GTA on 6 thing. And the most likely outcome is a net neutral. There are possible positives. There are unfortunately quite likely and possible negatives. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I think that, I th I think that kind of wraps the, the topic up, in my opinion. I think that's a good summary of, of the take, actually, of, of all the takes. That's fair. Okay, so do we want to hear from uh, server owners? Yes, I've, I, you just dropped that little nugget yeah. at the beginning of the show. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I, okay, who have you talked to? So I sent uh, I sent some a, a few questions, again, all of this super last minute, late last night, um, to four different people, right? Um, we've got Insomniac from Project Homecoming. Uh, we've Legend. got Noxus from 8th Gear. Legend. We've got uh, Scar from the Bluebird RP server that I once did that Legend. big G Fred RP on that was crazy. Um, and we've got uh, GTA Wise Guy answered some questions for me as well. Um, Legend. He's been so on the Legend. he's been on the show before. Obviously got massive on No Pixel after uh, after that, and now is setting up his own thing, I believe, server wise or looking at something like that. 
Um, so basically, my first two questions were, were you told about it? And if no, was there any indication that something like this was going on behind the scenes? So Insomniac said no to both of those questions. No indication, not told about it beforehand. Um, yeah, because if there was, I would know about it. Yeah, <laughs> too. Yeah. Um, Noxus said exactly the same thing. No to both of those. Uh, Scar. Oh. Uh, yeah, also, also no. Nothing. Josh, can you hear? What? What's up? Uh, I can hear you. What? Could... Oh, we can't hear each other, can we? Hold on. I... What just happened? What? Everyone can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we can all hear. I think Nos just can't hear any of us. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It... Not Nos can't hear so. <laughs> Okay, Discord, yeah, my Discord was dying. Okay, I'm back. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, you were fine um, for us. Um, but yeah, basically, Scar said the same thing. They don't know, no idea. And um, like, I'm just going to go through these questions. But yeah, uh, GTA Wise guys didn't know either. So it, it seems like it blindsided. Like, you know, the people who you would expect to know at least something are the server owners and the people who are working with 5M to make the servers run. And they didn't even know anything, or at least. This small yeah, see, I, I wouldn't. Didn't. I wouldn't expect. I, I wouldn't expect them to know. To be quite honest, I'd be on the other end. Like I would. I'd expect the only people who knew were, would be the the actual five M people, the the actual team and devs behind the the application. I you know I wouldn't expect that that information to disseminate all the way down to third party server owners. You don't think? You don't think there would be any kind of expectation of of being kept in the loop of what's happening on like to the platform that. No. 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 To, no. no. All right. Fair enough. Um, one thing that I have, I think I saw some rumors of it, is that some servers of 5M themselves have been going after uh, certain servers having real cars on them and, and you know real life stuff like, you know, Project Homecoming and, and 8th Gear, they're law friendly. So they have vehicles that are made to fit into the GTA 5 universe. But a lot of other servers don't have those restrictions. They'll have an Audi R8 or a Lamborghini Huracan or, or something like that. They and will the have... servers are worse. They're yeah. worse and bad I and agree. lame. <laughs> but supposedly, um, the, the 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 five of them have been getting that to be stopped, like in a way to to stop these real life cars be used on these servers, these real world assets. And I wonder if that has been coming from you know, the the potential that Rockstar have been planning to buy them in the future and whether we'll see more of that in the future. Um you know, or are they just gonna take a completely hands off approach to 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 the servers? You know, how where does their responsibility end? If the one of the servers gets in some legal trouble, do Rockstar have anything to do with that as the hoster of those servers? I guess not. No, they I yeah. I don't think they would. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they. I guess they have a that level of separation. I suppose that they don't need to worry about that. Anyway, um, all right. The third question was: What are the general thoughts within the five M server owners or runners community? If you know, or there is one, assuming that you know, um, uh, that this is a thing. But Insomniac's response was: uh, He doesn't know, but his thought is that. Oh shit! This is gonna cost some money. <laughs> uh, we, we, fair enough. Um, so Noxus said that the generous consensus seems to be that this can go two ways. It could mean Five M will have access to internal tools and information that could improve the platform going forward, um, like getting real native definitions or memory structure definitions. Or this could be phase one of embrace, extend, extinguish, and Rockstar's competition will be eliminated before. GTA 6 comes out. Uh, so the, those, those are the two options that the Noxus give, give, give. So, this, yeah, what we just talked about. What we just talked about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so, uh, what we just talked about in an hour summed up in 30 seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I worked uh, really hard on my opinions, and to have someone just do it in 30 <laughs> seconds is, is very troubling <laughs> and concerning. Uh, GT Wise Guy said that generally speaking, as a 5M dev, there's not that much communication across different servers. It's generally every server's dev group just stays to their own own situation. So that's understandable. Um, and then Scar, who Scar did write me like an absolute essay for every single question. So I'm not going to like read out every single thing, but he had a lot of thoughts. And 
maybe we'll get him on in the future to to talk about some of this series it all like as the dust settles um uh but it, generally they they're within his own team they think it will cause some issues for many servers um i don't they didn't extrapolate on why necessarily um but a lot of the positivity he said is coming from people who generally don't truly understand the workings of 5m servers like players not understanding what goes into the back end and um, most of the time when someone tries to make a server it fails in under six months because you have to think about and be on top of so many things so um yeah it, it for, for supposedly most people know that like for sex for, he seems to think that for successful servers this is going to be a bad thing but for really small servers it might be a good thing um you know they might have to, they might not be as affected as some of the bigger servers that rockstar might but again will rockstar even impact on that that's, that's the question they, they might not they might just leave it all on their own in terms of monetization of the servers themselves um okay the next one was what if any impact do you see ha this having on their respective server going forward in the short and medium term um insomniac basically said that in a few months some new supported thing will appear and all the old stuff will die i guess he's thinking that like there'll be a, a 5m back-end replacement or something or, or rockstar will like create something completely new and the servers will have to migrate to that mm. is that realistic i mean i don't know i don't know how i don't quite understand the workings of 5m but i if they made something different wouldn't the servers still exist like, no i mean the servers would run? be still there i suppose but like maybe the, there's new ways of of those servers running on the back end in the way that they interact with 5m in a way or something like that yeah. then rockstar can have more of a an impact or a control over that aspect maybe um yeah like forcing a certain build for them to work properly of the, of the game or something like that um okay that, that i guess that's a possibility uh if you're running an, an older version of the game it you know you have to be playing by rockstar's rules and otherwise the server's not going to be allowed to function or whatever um knocks us to that one uh he didn't expect any impact to eighth gear in the short term uh in the medium term he thought that maybe they'd have to remove some content that's ported from other games like specifically for eighth gear the real life racing tracks um which i've always thought was tenuous at best <laughs> when they've got laguna seca and spa and monza and stuff like that it's it's cool as hell and we're gonna have to get our use out of it while we can but he he seems to think that maybe in the medium term rockstar might impact that aspect of things which is what we said earlier um but again they might like have that hands-off approach why did we even talk about this topic why didn't we just start by reading these opinions <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> we, 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 we could have had this done so soon yeah just you just gone through it and, and had it from the the people who know i suppose <laughs> instead of us the opposite it's the opposite of the content creator thinking they'll see you gotta say yes, you gotta that's why i'm bad at it yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never <laughs> don't, go, you can't, don't go straight to the point come on <laughs> yeah you can't give the the proper answer we've got a you know we've got a ramble around the discussion for an hour we're first. rambling all for a guy who doesn't do mid-roll ads what's the point <laughs> <laughs> um so um gt wise guy said in the short term he wouldn't imagine there would be much impact uh but beyond that maybe he hoped well he may he's hoping that there will become more tools available like we kind of said earlier um a lot of time for these servers he said that developing can just be dependent on is there a native for that based on what code has been discovered and can be tapped into or uh what of you know the modding is generally all about working on top of the existing game and reverse engineering if possible whereas hopefully this brings up the the avenue to have more access to or, or make it easier to develop on top of that or, or even alongside that um but 
there may be some policy. He also thinks there may be some policy changes rolled out, which uh, think, hoping, th- hoping things don't become sort of too restrictive uh, beyond the obvious, such as use of no other IP um, going on to, you know, enforcement on that, how that might actually change and, and be enforced if they try to decide to take a, a hands-on approach to that sort of thing. Um, it's just a lot of, you know, understanding of of lack of understanding of what they're actually planning with that aspect of things and how involved they're going to get um he also said it would be interesting to see how rockstar might see vanilla edits uh like environment changes that use a lot of vanilla stuff for example and what guidelines might come into place for more specific monetization uh so yeah it's it's about it's, it's generally that understanding of we don't really know what rockstar are planning with that sort of stuff um scar said for that one that though he he expects that they'll likely need to shift heavily to fall in line with what rockstar wants uh the core concepts of the game shouldn't change just the way that things are set up currently won't be rockstar friendly necessarily um the, he thinks they'll be fine. He thinks the Bluebird RP server at least will be fine. No, no short term impact, but medium term will be. He, he says almost making a brand new server to appease people and long time long term is whatever they decide we have to do with GTA Six. So there's there's a there's a wide variety from the server owners of of different different. I mean, it's it's same as us. Some of us are. Uh, uh, on the we end one end of the scale of this is going to be the worst thing imaginable and uh, they're going to you know totally ruin everything to it could be no change whatsoever and everything will be fine it's impossible to say I suppose at this stage especially with it being so fresh um, yeah uh, question five what are your personal expectations for what this will mean for servers and 5M as a whole in the longer term uh, as well as Rockstar's plans for GTA 6. Insomniac basically says that he thinks they'll have to start paying Rockstar for hosting services or cease to exist. Rockstar will give uh, give the, the platform and the, all the hosting servers, services and you either pay Rockstar for them or that's it. And from, from what I understand now, I think 5M servers can be on... like they, they can be on the 5M ecosystem of, of hosts or they can do their own third party hosting services as well and, and run off there. So yeah, maybe th- that could that's something that I genuinely think could possibly happen. Like if they're gonna buy five M, they would monetize five M itself. And that is one yeah. way to do that. And that is uh funnily enough, another thing in Minecraft is that you can rent servers. They're called realms. Mm. You can rent like official servers for the Java edition. So that's quite possible actually. Yeah. How does but, that I mean, work then? Like, do, can you can you as a as a player, like rent a server, can you? Yeah, is yeah, there a, is there a consumer a of side of that, or rather than just a battlefield? You know. So, so the consu- as a consumer, you'd open the game, and you've got you've got single player, multiplayer realms. You click on realms, and it's like, oh, how many players do you want to be able to join your realm? And it's like realm just means official server, right? Yeah. And then yeah, you just pay like a monthly subscription to hosts. An official like realm or Minecraft server or whatever. Yeah, and I, I, if I'm correct, the di- difference between playing multiplayer and playing a realm is that the realm is always up and available to join, just like a server. But if you just yeah. do multiplayer, it's like you have to be on, and then you invite a friend to play. Uh, with you. Mul- multiplayer is still server based. It's not like huh. direct connection. But but a player, you can host a server in your client, right? But then it is like that. Yeah, okay. Realm is always on like actual server. You, you're a, you're just renting an official server. It's all of it. And then you can have multiple people join and change things yeah. and leave, and it will still be there for like yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, uh, as long I, as you keep paying. Yeah, because I I, th- I think Five M themselves have infrastructure of of servers and hosting and stuff like that, and that's how yeah. they can offer more people than thirty two players. You know, you you pay them and they give you access to you know better functionality but I'm, I'm not necessarily certain whether that they they actually have the infra, the server infrastructure but if they do rockstar i guess have bought that as well and that gives them avenues to 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 offer servers in a different way themselves as, as i suppose um 
it would be interesting. That could be a money-making aspect for, for Rockstar. Maybe it'll be more expensive in the future. Who knows? Um, Noxus, um, he basically wants to not have too many expectations. Um, he said he saw someone bring up Roblox, and assuming the platform isn't killed outright, that seems to be a reasonable take. How does Roblox... I don't really know anything about Roblox. Oh, God, Roblox. Isn't that Minecraft? It's... No. no. Oh, Bo- okay, God. Boomer. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Oh, there's Boomer. Oh, God. You just, you just do the equivalent of calling like a, a game console a Nintendo. Oh, shit. Um, oh, shit. No, Roblo- <laughs> Roblox is a, its own game. Um, Doesn't it look like Ro- Minecraft? Oh, my God. Stop, just stop, bro. Just stop digging. Ro- Roblox is like okay, a... Okay, maybe I'm getting mixed like up. A, Ro- Roblox is like a game creation thing it, it's kind of actually like super duper evil you like it's like monetizing kids creations right like yeah you... i've heard bad stories about it but i've never seen oh, it yeah, it's... yeah okay yeah, i, I realize how bad of a thing that was that i just said <laughs> immediately <laughs> take it back <laughs> minecraft uh, uh, but um... yeah so yeah, roblox so yeah you create game modes or like art assets or like so you know like things like that and you can sell it in the in-game shop and like the robots take a cut of everything you sell but it's like a really large cut yeah yeah it's gary's mod for kids but monetized yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay um so yeah noxus seemed to suggest that that could be a way to have his own make the 5m server browser like rockstar roblox's game browser uh, move all the payment systems over to rockstar's own in-house stuff and then now rockstar takes a cut of all 5m transactions and enforces guide like terms of service guidelines and stuff on content maybe um and and yeah he said he wouldn't be surprised if that was the biggest motivator for the acquisition shark card money going to the 5m servers how do we get that piece of the pie back and yeah i guess that yeah. uh, that's one way to think about it yeah so if they were going to start selling stuff in an official store roblox style then they would need to enforce legality things you wouldn't be able to have like real world cars and stuff yeah like that, so. yeah um and then uh gt wise guy um he hopes that it would continue to give them the same freedom if not more if if rockstar want to do it right um modders have always been at the mercy of rockstar and until now have let us be mostly being not officially associated is what gives modders a lot of freedom but now that it's under the Rockstar umbrella, they may now be obligated to be much stricter on moderation to both protect their own IP and not get into legal trouble by servers using other IPs. Um, he's hopeful, GTA Wise guy is, that they see the, the value in modding and everything it has done for the longevity of GTA, which is a fair point. Um, from a viewership standpoint as well, yeah, he's absolutely right. It's, it's huge 5M compared to vanilla GTA. Um, he he can imagine that they may want to bring some form of RP tools to the general players in the future, or they may see its value purely as an entertainment marketing tool, which is going back to kind of what you said, Josh. When all of their announcement is all role play, create the, the announcement. Just the announcement is the announcement is literally called role play community update. Yeah. Like they can now get it. use that content in a way. All of that content that goes up on on Five M that is now oh, Rockstar. They can use it in marketing yeah. material now. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, like that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That because they own it. <laughs> they own the platform. Mm-hmm. This look at all these great things that are happening on our Five M servers. Mm-hmm. Buy GTA Five to get access to these Five M servers. <laughs> like, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Um, he also imagines they want to get ahead of the curve for GTA 6. If they shut down modding come GTA 6, the blowback would be rough. Uh, it would be worse now since the explosion of RP. They can be in control of modding for GTA 6 and say, hey, we allow it, while also being able to shut down any new platforms that might arise. It also allows them to set the rules on release to it's harder to do that with GTA 5 now that the modding community is very established. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, they, they'll just have that control over how and when and if they give any kind of modding permission or allowances for GTA 6 now. Uh, and I imagine they've got cause now to take down any other 
um, you know, 5M like things because it's like now it's a, a direct competitor to our product in a way. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll again say that they don't need power, no, like like no, do it anyway. But it is true, like they they do they could say it's a direct competitor now. Is, yeah, but yeah, whether they need to do that, I don't know. Uh, okay, this is an absolute essay from Scar. Uh, let me try and um, yeah, let me let me like read the start of it, and then I'll try and go through a little bit of it. Um, so the personal expectations for what it means. He thinks there's going to be many changes coming, mostly bad for all role play servers. So he's definitely on the negative end of the spectrum, like like me the and do- the Doomer take. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's with me on the Doomer take of of this thing. <laughs> Um, there are some servers that initially this will not affect and it will be a longer burn until it does. Uh, Project Homecoming, for example, he says, is the type of server that comes to mind who, to begin with, won't need to change a thing. Unfortunately, what he foresees happening is that Rockstar will move to close down servers offering a similar service to their existing online services. Uh, it was made very clear in their announcement that they aim to work or incorporate roleplay servers, but they neglected to mention things like racing servers, mini game servers, and other types of servers which is what you said as well, Josh. I would personally like to take the opportunity to reach out to the owners of Project Homecoming and see how to ensure their longevity works on it, work on a way of introducing a role play element to their server so that they aren't lumped in with pure racing servers. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I've been you, trying to do that for the past 10 years. I, and they I seem to we, remember. We it, I so. seem to remember in the early days of Project Homecoming, wasn't there plans yeah. for one server to be a role play server and one to be like a racing server? <laughs> I, I don't remember such a thing. I remember I, you saying I, that at some point, I, I'm sure. Uh, no, I, I think we had a stream, and then I screamed a little, and then that was it. I think <laughs> I, I, yeah. I think there'll be uh, a I think on one of those early five M Project Homecoming racing videos, there would be there would be a clip of you saying something like, "Oh, and we're gonna we plan it. We're hopefully you having one server be a racing server and one server be a a role play server, and and incorporate that." And I'm sure I said like, "Oh yeah, that sounds interesting." Thinking. Would I ever do role play? And then you know, after all these years, I've still never really touched it. But yeah, and, and it's blown up since then. Um, if, if you can get Project Homecoming to do a role play server, you will do what I was unable to do <laughs> since the server's inception. All right, hot hot content creator cr- cl- t- tip: do a role play video before GTA Six announcement. A role play video would be at so many clicks and it will be so not relevant once GTA six is even like a thing on the horizon, right? What do you mean Get a role there. play like a role a role You just make a role play video. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Like, like, but, the, the, the role play is so so strange and cringe to me. I'm I, sure. Sure. And it'll get a billion views. <laughs> like it'll be the other ones. Exactly. I did a I did a role play G Fred on the Bluebird RP server who's who's uh, you know, Scar is is uh, the owner of. Um he actually said it's the biggest role play server in Australia. Um but I did a role play G Fred and that was kind of a different thing entirely. You know, I ran into some I ran into a fire truck at one point and these guys came off the fire truck and were like oh you're all right and then i got in my car and, and carried on with my race and they're like oh come back you know? so it had those funny moments but i <laughs> dynamic role play gameplay yeah i i Boy, don't know i back. struggle to put myself in and, and act as as someone else i mean you know you, you can just be yourself in a way but i it's just I don't know. I, 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 I'm never. I've never been comfortable with the thought of it. And even when I tried it for the G Fred with through the lens of being able to do a G Fred as well, I was still a little bit. Uh, this isn't like my sort of thing. But I totally get why it's so big. I don't watch any of it to be honest. But like I understand it. Um, well, there's, there's the thing that I've always. This is getting slightly off topic. But what I what I kind of wanted for the project, whatever this project homecoming RP is, I like I think there's there's a real market for the in between of like the full RP, all the cops are admins, no fail RP, no blah 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 blah, you know all this, and then not RP. Like I feel like there's a real middle ground. I guess for I mean I guess that middle ground is literally GT Online. But, you know, <laughs> like being able to do certain things, earn a currency, buy the cars, and then use those cars in these 
like things to earn more currency you know like a like a yeah i feel like there's there's kind of an opening there the gameplay um, systems without the interactions yeah like yeah. like the whole like having players be the cops is very cool but having to have a fake traffic stop not cool mm-hmm. you know like like that's just lame it's, like you want yeah. the gameplay system to be in place where like the cop needs to do a set amount of things game wise to take you down or, or something like that like rather than have to actually rely yeah, on the I want other like person a, like a need for speed heat or need you know but the cops are players and you know yeah it just it's a little deeper i guess but um yeah. I, I i equate role plays massive popularity to similar one to D D. you know how critical role is like the biggest twitch channel still mm-hmm. it's just like it's very similar experience where it's like in D D, you're like role playing the actual gameplay doesn't matter but you as a viewer you don't have to do the role play yeah. and it doesn't come across as like cringe to you and it's like fun to watch yeah it's because they're know, good at it exactly but, exactly but then when i people... when i go do it it's cringe and lame. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. Of course. it would be for me as well I'm sure. people... me. yeah that's why you watch other people do it. yeah it's yeah. just yeah. super popular yeah um but yeah, like yeah, basically, Scar thinks that anything other than roleplay servers are gonna get, uh, you know, eventually taken down or told to stop or whatever because it's too close to GTA Online. Uh, especially like the the game mode servers, which used to be the Ivany server, which I played on, and now it's Mega's Games. Like that is just wall to wall fun, awesome game modes. And really, it's what GTA Online game modes should be. And I could see them, you know, would they take it down? I don't know. It's quite popular, but it's not as popular as the entire roleplay aspect of 5M. And with them only I mentioning roleplay... I will play role SAD&D. Not to, I'm sorry to interrupt, Josh, but I will play that. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm typing the chat. What is SAD? What, San Andreas it's not, it's, D&D? It's, yeah, it's not a thing, but I... Yeah, but like that, I think about it sometimes, like running a D and D campaign in the San Andreas universe. Yeah. <laughs> I've never played D and D. I have always wanted the ball to of dope pushers. All <laughs> <laughs> for initiative. All for initiative. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, um... sorry, yeah, continue. <laughs> uh, although the owners of large servers didn't start creating a roleplay server to make money we have been fortunate enough to do so and now have people whose families depend upon being paid i suppose that's like for some of these bigger servers like this one that is a a legitimate concern as well you've built a business in a way around the 5m server itself um this announcement moves us closer to either entirely demonetizing the servers making them completely unaffordable or having them monetize in a way where Rockstar will take payments from players and generously give us like 20% of the sales. He thinks he's really doomsday about it all at the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't expect this. To, I don't expect this to happen with five Emma's. There likely won't be a good way to integrate it without take two telling it. Te- I keep seeing Tebex um, popping up. I'm guessing that's the payment provider that five, five M uses uh, telling them to bugger off and make their own version with shark cards and things. But his expectation and prediction from a long-term perspective is that GTA 6 will have roleplay server capabilities eventually, and it will be the end of truly good roleplay servers. <laughs> Five will be shut down, so everyone has to buy GTA 6 if they wish to roleplay at all. Any other competitors to 5M will be forced to shut down. Rockstar will then pretend to be the good guys and give us tools to create roleplay servers through their services, which will likely mean the end of servers supporting more than 128 players or even 64. Um, five years ago, if you had a GTA 5 RP server on 5M, you couldn't have more than 32 players. This means there were areas of roleplay and people had to stick within one area, for example, Sandy Shores. Now imagine GTA 6, where apparently the map is supposed to be at least twice the size of GTA 5, and we'll be back to areas of roleplay, uh, and the Rockstar will basically just put limit so many limitations on... What are you laughing at? <laughs> I, I, I'm reading this, and then I look back, and I see you both laughing. <laughs> We're just talking about San Andreas D&D in chat. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I rolled a, I rolled a 20. I, I duped the mission. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we've really gotten um, off topic you guys are talking to the chat about D- i'm busy like re- 
like children in a classroom. I know. Right? Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's, We've been talking about this yeah, for sorry. a while. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. My brain message. is melting. We've said the same thing for the past hour. I okay. can't do it anymore. Okay. Let's let's quickly go through the final thing then. But ultimately, Scar okay. thinks that they they will do role play for GTA 6 and role play servers, but it will be so restrictive because it will go through their own that it won't be as fun anymore, basically. All right. Last question I asked was... Um, There's another question. Okay. There was another one another question. Swear. Keep going. No, do you no, want to hear not... from the people in the know or not? I, yeah, okay. I mean, yes, rather than yes. just us I idiots to talking about it. I an hour it. ago uh, before I, want... I talked and talked uh, and talked. I, I want to hear from all but one of them. <laughs> the one who wrote a paragraph, a t- ten <laughs> paragraphs. Look, I'll try. My, I'll no, try to be no, quick. He's a legend. I like him, but but I I just we should have started with this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Go, just go, what? Just go. We just go to the expert opinion. <laughs> All my life, I've been deferring to expert opinion, and now. <laughs> I sit and talk about something I have no understanding of for an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. Overall, how would you describe your feelings towards the announcement? Insomniac said, if I had more time to do stuff, I'd be more excited. You know, if it's an official Rockstar thing and it's properly documented rather than being reverse engineered, it might be easier to attract, attract devs and do new things. But you can't imagine that Rockstar would do a peer for usage model, model so there will be as many servers available as people want and you would join an invite or club session or whatever and play with your friends that sounds great for the user but who gets the shark card money to pay for the hosting fees he basically said he's expecting to be bankrupted before this turns him in turns him into a millionaire <laughs> <laughs> with the bazillion people jumping on trying to play pinball road of death we're never going to try and play that again i just i i want them to buy our server that's, that's <laughs> yeah. my hope now yeah, make, god that would be great let's make it somniac a millionaire instead of bankrupting him yeah, he we? deserves to yeah, be a millionaire. i agree he did <laughs> i think we all deserve to be millionaires yeah. i think we should just we we take the amount of staff we have on project homecoming multiply it by a million that's our sell price <laughs> <laughs> um noxus said that he's anxious um if take two didn't own rockstar he'd lead towards excitement but are you laughing at uh, <laughs> no keep going I swear to God, it's like <laughs> bloody kids um you are presented with the mission sweets girl <laughs> you have two vehicle options a motorcycle or a car which would you choose <laughs> hey look i i unironically want to play this now yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get this set up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, oh, God. <laughs> uh, if Take Two didn't own Rockstar, he'd lean towards excitement, but with Take Two's community hostile greed behind it all, he can't help but feel that if 5M isn't killed off, this will only have negative effects to the player base. Crackdown on payment processing would affect things, and uh, yeah, it, 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 things, certain, certain real life things banned and whatnot that make that basically reduce um yeah. creativity uh gta wise guy last question oh my god he wrote a lot for this one as well <laughs> he's excited and hopeful oh okay okay i want to hear it then okay, okay, oh, okay. So it's wrong. oh you want to hear it <laughs> it's wrong no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> oh, i'm excited and hopeful about the announcement but i'm anxious still uh, so he's been in the GTA yeah. 6 for a long time. He's a GTA and Rockstar fan, like I imagine all of us are. Really, like every all of our, I feel like all of our complaints and whatnot, they all come from a place of love. Like we want the game to be better and can see the ways that things can be so much better. And it's frustration that it's just never really heard in a way, I suppose. But um, he ultimately started modding as part of a Unity pro- Uni project, and he would always mod vanilla cars, which we all know, you know, there's cinematics and whatnot would have been great from GTA Wise Guy. Uh, Tuners, Tuners and Outlaws trailer, which, you know, I mean, that led to the Tuners DLC, you could say, indirect, indirectly. Um, then he found RP and blew up on that, and everyone loved it just because of the, the immersion and things like that. Uh, and then he ended up developing on the No Pixel team, uh, and you know pushing up no 3.0 and no pixel and whatnot and then he's now wanting to do his own server uh, and but um let me let me let me let me go through there yeah he it, it's all the stories that he's yeah he he goes through all the stories that he's done as an rp player 
a civilian car tutor businessman who turns racer at night, a one-legged delusional man that likes lives to scam people and is a menace, and like that that's part of the beauty of of, of role play in a way um, for for people who enjoy that sort of thing. Um, and the reason he says all of that is that it's allowed him to do his full creative expression as a modder for GTA. It's not just modding cars. It's not just the role play stuff. He's been able to fully um, flourish in this whole ecosystem. Um, and he thinks the value in role play for Rockstar is to use it as a marketing tool and maybe expand role play to the general player base, not to um and, and with things derived from the actual servers made by modders not to monetize the limited players that actually play on the popular servers and restrict the developers that make it all possible so he's got a bit more of a, a happier potential take that he's hopeful that rockstar is seeing the the beauty of the rp stuff and what's happened and how it's blown up and they want to incorporate that more um and, and bring more people to the beauty of that rather than monetize the people who are already there or yeah restrict things to make it not possible it's nice to have the opposite take honestly <laughs> i don't know whether i'm fully in agreement on that but it, it i said at the start i, I want to hear some other takes and it's nice to have that hopeful side of it at least um i don't think scars is going to be quite as hopeful <laughs> Scar's just like seven paragraphs of Doomer posting. <laughs> oh, it's, not as long, it's, it's not as long as the previous one. Is going to come to my house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's actually he says he's disappointed but not surprised. It was always going to happen. Um, he doesn't plan on shutting down Bluebird RP, but um, they're going to push to whatever they can based on any new limits that Rockstar make available or, or impose. Um, and he says there's a chance that this makes everything amazing. And he knows exactly how what they would have to do to make it amazing, but uh, he, he doesn't necessarily expect well, that Rockstar would do that. That's always the thing. I mean, we, we could sit here and do, we could write down on a piece of paper how to make GT Online amazing right now, but it doesn't, you know. Yeah, Rockstar, the chances that the Rockstar would implement, yeah, how many videos have I made on... on yeah, it's like uh, writing a list and, of things that they won't do. Everything you put on this piece of paper yeah. will never happen. yeah. Um, if they sent me an email tomorrow and offered me a spot on their team to help them make GTA 6 RP the best thing in the world, he'd take it. He'd come in with a detailed plan of every choice they'd need to make. Um, they, I know they've hired these guys in the past, which is great. And I'll settle for a janitor in the past. job. <laughs> <laughs> but from my interaction with so many GTA 5 content creators, we don't seem to be the people they want to talk to. We're as close to the ground as anyone can be. And with we are the people who advertise their game every single day, and he thinks that people like us are worth listening to, but whether Rockstar actually do or not, maybe this is a sign that they might start. We'll wait. We will we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, right. That that's the that's always been the case though. Like the last ten years of trying to give Rockstar our thoughts on how to improve their game for free. I'm not being paid by Rockstar to give them ideas. Like, you know, they pay people to come up with stuff and you just, you never get anything from it. So now where would that, why is there any trust that they will do right by 5M now that they've bought that? Like, I totally get that side of it. I appreciate the hopeful side, but I can't subscribe to it. I think they probably haven't put as much thought into it as we have. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's my hope. That's that's yeah, my hope. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that's gotta be the hope, I suppose. That they they're just not they haven't really thought about it and now they'll start. But they, they, they they just think it's a role play thing. They just wanted to own the role play. Now they own the role play from their perspective. <laughs> Goods carries on, does nothing, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that would be helpful. Okay, are we uh, are are we done with this topic? Can we can we make more D&D &D jokes over the speed run? <laughs> you can you can make more D&D &D jokes. Okay, okay well, speaking of jokes, <laughs> any Red Dead Redemption enjoyers? Uh, oh, oh, that was God, a good one. No. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good segue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
That was excellent. I applaud it. Oh, dear. Not... I feel like you just stabbed me through the heart. <laughs> that's that's 4 a.m. ESA donation reader energy right there. That's what it is. Oh, Yes, I'm a red dead <laughs> We thought yeah. we talked about this in the last episode, didn't we? On how uh, how the rumors of Red Dead getting remastered and and how it's going to be so great and you know look so good and and be so fun. Is, is that what I said? I don't think that's what I said. <laughs> I've to- I've done enough talking. I think I think one of you should explain um, if if for anyone who doesn't know already what what has I have transpired. Depression. That's I, that's I I have depression. So this, uh, this caused a relapse. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. This caused a relapse into my major depression. Okay, <laughs> this is terrible. I I think the Switch version is at least interesting. To have a handheld version of it is always. And there hasn't been one on a Nintendo console before, you know. And the LA Noir. You know what other right? system has never had one and will continue to not have one? Yeah, the I personal know. computer, sir. Yes, <laughs> I mean, okay, look, it's it's bad that there's no PC. It's bad that there's no multiplayer. Like really bad. It's bad that it's fifty dollars, right? But the PS4 version is a joke. Just play the PS3 version or, or the Xbox version is like enhanced anyway, right? Somehow. Yeah, the, the Xbox the Xbox One version is probably the best version you can yeah. play. Like the That's the one I but like, think it runs at four K, doesn't it? Yeah. But there are some positives. Okay. The Switch version being one, uh, means I can actually play it on a modern console now, so I'm gonna redo speedruns of it. So I'm happy and I like the Switch. Um I mean I have a Switch too, but the other positive is that this is a remaster or a re-release or you know a re thing of a Rockstar game that Grove Street Games didn't do. <laughs> this wait, this have they done is... every single any uh, like remaster re-release of anything that Rockstar have ever done? Has it always been Grove Street all Games? All the Rockstar stuff, all the mobile versions, all the definitive editions, always been War Drums, yeah, which renamed to Grove Street Games, yeah. This is by, oh god, I can't remember the studio name now, but this is by a studio who have been around for a long time, like tens of years. Double Eleven, uh, possibly. A double Eleven, that's it. Du- double Eleven Studios, let me find it up. Uh, eleven S- Games Studios? I, anyway, Double Eleven Games is a game company. This is like, a lot of gamers don't know about these game companies. These They're support studios. They're support and porting studios. So Double Eleven hasn't really made a game, but they have like um, they have uh, they have credits for like things like Minecraft Dungeons. Like they made the they made several of the ports for Minecraft Dungeons. I think the Switch version and stuff. They made like they've Rust. They've ported uh, all the Lego Harry Potter games, Crackdown Three. I don't know. You could go back really far for like Goat Sim. Right, they made the console versions of Goat Sim, Limbo. There's there's a load of things in here. Little Big Planet for the Vita was them. Right, so this is like that they're, they're a really old porting or support studio that have ex Rockstar employees. It was literally founded by two previously lead programmers for Rockstar Leads who made like VCS, LCS, all the handheld Rockstar games. Right, so they have Rockstar connections. And they're an actual fucking studio with 300 people working there, right? This isn't Grove Street Games, which is a mobile game dev company that ports like crappy mobile games without 20 people working there. This is an actual video game company, and they ported a thing for 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 Rockstar. Could it, this is actually a really good change? The, the actual game itself, like Red Dead Redemption, with no single multiplayer or fifty dollars, whatever. Sure, probably pretty crap. The fact that they actually used the actual porting studio for actually porting a thing is really good. Like, like maybe... it, gives, it gives you some hope that like future ports will also go through them and might be good. Yeah, have have they just dumped Grove Street Games now? Like, why didn't Grove Street Games make I this? Hope. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, why didn't my... Grove Street Games make this? I mean, my this... attitude on this would be completely different if they were just releasing it on PC. 
Like I like I wouldn't care if there was no multiplayer. I honestly wouldn't care if it was fifty dollars. If it was just on the platform everyone wanted it on. But like like PS4, maybe there's some people on PlayStation that want it. The people on Xbox already have it, and no one on Switch other than yourself wants to play this game. Like, <laughs> like you will be the one and only sale of Red Dead Redemption for the Switch. That's just not like that's just not like the the, the person who has a Switch doesn't want to play Red Dead. You know, uh, my in my will. opinion, my my dad's will. So that's two. two. Whoa, two sales, <laughs> two sales. <laughs> But yeah. my, my opinion of this would be completely different if there was just a native PC like version. I don't even understand if it was why. just a straight poor. Like why yeah, not? Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I also fucking wish there was a PC version. Like obviously, but like if there, if a PC version had already existed for several years and then they announced this out of nowhere, would we be, would we be like, oh, this is bad? Like, or would we just like, oh yeah? Whatever. I feel like Switch I version. feel like we would. Because it's it's literally the same game with less features. What ten years later? More than ten years? Fifteen years later? For fifty dollars? Hey, yeah. you get under nightmare as well, Bruffy. Did you know you get under nightmare? Oh too? fuck! Uh, well, uh, well, I think the thing that makes it so hard <laughs> to swallow on the less features thing is that the Xbox One X version that you can play right now has all those features. It has multiplayer. You yeah, know? right. And yeah, the so, Xbox version is a four K. It's still at thirty FPS, but like it. It's the better version. It has the multiplayer. Like how it yeah, should at uh, least have parity to that. But if you're gonna re-release something for fifty dollars, yeah. you should be adding some value somewhere. And if anything, it, they've taken it away. If this had multiplayer, right? And it legendary. was like legendary. Legendary. I would buy it f- yeah, immediately. Like for immediately. Like oh, here's a fresh Red Dead Redemption. No modders. No, no cheaters. Modders, no no broken cheaters. servers. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be so good. That's all they needed was to have multiplayer as well, and we'd be all in, right? But yes. Uh, yeah. It's like I still wouldn't be for fifty dollars. So... I would thirty. Maybe. I would. I would. I would. I would eat that slop up <laughs> like a pig. I that that multiplayer Part of the was my problem, favorite then. game. <laughs> th- that I multiplayer think... was my favorite game I've ever played. I got to max rank twice. I think it's, we would it's... we would say it was overpriced, but that would yeah, be the okay, only problem. Fine. Oh, and no PC version. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. It, it's it's so bad on so many ways. But at least it's a good developer doing it. <laughs> yes, I would yeah. say they they weren't the ones who decided all this stuff, right? No, like, no, of course they were just. But but the fact that Rockstar didn't go to Grove Street Games, went to someone else, and said, "Hey, can you make this?" Thank God, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> maybe this is actually be a good port. Like, maybe in the future, their remasters of maybe in the next ten years when we get the thirty year edition of the GTA 3D series. Maybe that'll actually be good, right? Let's May- I mean, this is complete cope, but like maybe, maybe now that it's it's reported to like modern systems with maybe a more understandable whatever, maybe we'll get a PC version in six months to a year. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe it's not going to happen. Not a chance. I, I highly zero doubt percent. Yeah, yeah, zero I, percent chance. Why though? I still but, don't get why PC hasn't seen a Red Dead Redemption release. Is Red Dead Redemption two on PC? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, why? I, I did actually speak to a dev about this a while back. It, it's, it's. There's a lot of things. It was like the way the, the, the. Uh, it's like the 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 horse movement is different in Red Dead One to Red Dead Two, and it doesn't quite translate to keyboard very well. Um, what else was there? That the code base was notoriously fucked, but that would have stopped even the Switch version. So I don't understand the logic there. Yeah. Now. Um, I just can't remember the. There, there were reasons it didn't come out on PC specifically. I don't remember the exact reasons. But do you have? It was. Oh, it's also sorry. It was also based on the GTA 4's version of Rage, which runs like shit on PC. Like GTA 4 on PC is still a disaster. Like to this day, right? You can't run it on max setting 60 FPS on our fucking supercomputers compared to when it came out, right? Mm-hmm. So but it would yeah. have to be, if they brought it to PC, it would have to be like a, an actual proper remake or, or something like or, well, a full overhaul type remaster I, I, where they go into changing a if, lot. If you had asked me this 
a few months ago, I would have said, yeah. But the fact it's coming out to Switch. Well, yeah. Like, it's doing that somehow. So so they've already, they, these hurdles, they've crossed them, except the, the keyboard movement one. So, like, I, and the keyboard movement one is not an insolvable problem. Like, no. it was just, it was just, that's only one of the reasons I remember. Yeah. There was lots of little things like that. But, like, yeah, but the fact that it's running on Switch, it has to be, like, modern Rage. Like, you know, 2008 Rage didn't run on Switch, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. So it, it, uh, it has to be optimized well enough the code is even if it's terrible may, maybe it runs like crap on switch uh, we'll find out but like if it's oh, only if, it's if it runs switch, crap on switch if it's like 15 fps in places or something 50 dollars. can you imagine the digital foundry video on that oh yeah that'll be great oh. but um but yeah so like if they get it on if if it if it's been ported to switch i can't see any reason they couldn't have ported it to pc okay basically why are you getting it on Switch and going to be running it there? Uh, because, well, for me personally right now, I was looking for like more runs to do. Um, like speed running and, different games? Yeah, yeah okay. uh, I've only been, I've been doing SA for like three years and I'm sick of it. So right. that's why I've been recently doing Vice City as well. But it, it's coming out like really soon, right, really close to my, and I'm going to learn this game in this section bit. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just content creator reasons, really. It's like, oh, look at this. So I'm going to play it on Switch. Aha, it's going to be bad. Tune in long. Yeah, I, I, would just, I would have assumed that like, the best I would, thing to do I would, would have been in. just playing on the, the Xbox Series version or something and running it there. But I, I don't have a modern Xbox console. Oh, okay. The, the latest Xbox console I have is 360. So. Oh, <laughs> Same. So, yeah, will, so will there be a... like? Do they split up the speedrun leaderboards for console? Um, like, will there I, be a new Switch leaderboard so. with only you on it because no or one there, else? There, there's at least a denote. There's like a note of which system it was. on. Yeah, you mm. you can. It says what platform it is, and you can filter by which platform. But there there probably won't be like any percent Xbox, any percent Switch. It'll just be here's any percent. Here's all the consoles that they're on. You can yeah. fill them if you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I we... will probably I will probably have Switch world record. Yeah. Does, just claim that. does any does does anyone either in chat or here know? Like what the state of Switch emulation is? Oh like, yeah, you can you can do that. Yeah. Like it, well, I mean, I know you can. But like, oh, okay, is, it right, good, right. is it good? Oh, I, I, like, weren't like, there news like, stories like, a few months ago that like what new games would come out on the Switch, but they then they would run better on emulated in on a PC or something? Like they'd run at four K sixty or something like that. Tears of the Kingdom sixty FPS four K. Switch emulator, yeah. Yeah, Switch Switch emulation is near perfect on PC. So that I mean, that could be a bright side of this. Maybe maybe the oh. Red Dead version emulate because Xenia mm. Xenia is mm. good. Don't get me wrong. Like the RPCS three has like performance issues still, but its upside is that it has multiplayer, right? That's 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 RPCS's thing. And then Xenia is pretty good, but there's still some visual issues here and there with Xenia because I've been playing it quite a lot. Um, but it runs, it runs rather good. So if you could, if a, if a Switch emulated version could kind of, you know, be a correct emulation plus be better and blah, 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 whatever, you know, maybe that could be the bright side to this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, it, you'll still be playing like a toned down version of the game. Like it's going to have lower resolution textures and all stuff to fit in the Switch, I bet. The so Switch it'll needs an upgrade be, yeah. so badly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, we can talk about Switch Pro yeah. for like hours. Or, or but I mean, are the are the, are the textures going to be lower resolution than they were for, say, the the PlayStation, the Xbox three hundred and sixty? You know, ten years ago, you know, fifteen years ago. Nah, uh, how much, possibly. How much VRAM did an the Xbox three hundred and sixty? I'm pretty sure the Switch isn't as powerful as a PS four or an Xbox One, but it's better than a three hundred and sixty or a PS three, maybe. So. Yeah. Uh, it, sorry, I'm looking. It's for how probably much not going to be VRAM. looking great. It'll look good on a small screen, but yeah, yeah. But that's, I mean, that's that's really what I'm interested in is to see what what the emulation is going to be like for this Red Dead. That's kind of the only thing that I'm, you know, because I know it's going to run terribly on Switch. There's no way that it's going to, you know, run yeah, perfectly. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what exactly. that, that was the reason I was asking about the different speedrun categories for the different consoles because, like. It, it could it be the case where like it, the the switch version runs so poorly in some areas that it actually affects the speed run time for to doing mm. certain things or slowing the game the, down or something the load times will be far more important the well, that as well the, yeah the xbox 360 version i play is so much slower because of load oh, times yeah. alone that's the only that's the main yeah. thing the performance isn't too important it's the it's the loading times okay 
But um, that's what I mean. Yes, like then the, you can't. You've got to be playing on the platform. Like if you oh, were yeah. going for the absolute tip-top speedrun well, record. Welcome to speedrunning, yeah, Ruffy. Okay. Buy that obscure Chinese game console to run the game five seconds faster. I'm like, sure yeah, I it's... saw a title on a YouTube video at some point about like the the Japanese version of GTA Five is quicker to, to speedrun than the regular version or something like that. That, or, or it was like mm. putting a question that was probably clickbait or something. I don't know, but if it's a dark viper video, it's probably click just random clickbait. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> I yeah. Oh, is it Baron's video? Oh, sorry, I take it back. Baron's alright, I think. Um, oh, That's the dark viper's alright. I'm not starting shade. I'm not starting shade. I'm okay <laughs> with everyone. I'm just my money memeing. Um, but yeah, yeah, possibly there might be like a faster. I don't keep up with GTA 5 stuff all that much. Okay. Uh, is that it then? Because I don't want to talk anymore. No, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, I'm done. Yeah. We're, we've got a lot of like um, update type stuff that's going on in it our was lives. On me. It, was, it was on me. No, no, no. Yeah, there's speedrun corner there's stuff. There's speedrun stuff. There's real life oh, racing yeah, stuff. Like video yeah. and a football yeah. video and stuff. and. Yeah, those other stuff. But we're going to talk about that in the next episode instead. We'll, we'll move all that into the next episode. It'll be a big one of, of life updates and all that kind of stuff and speedrun stuff and, yeah, everything we've just said. This one was a special one just to talk about this ridiculous news. And I'm going to put it up as on YouTube ASAP as well. So you'll see it for the first time ever. You'll see the podcast on YouTube the day that it was recorded. We were literally recording this hours ago for those watching on YouTube. Hours ago, I hours. was here. And now, as you're watching this, I'm at work and I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thank you guys for, for joining me on this this merry adventure down what, yes, what um, ifs and what could happen, Lane. Yes. Next time we talk about a topic like this, we're just going to read the expert opinions. <laughs> And we'll be done in 30 minutes instead of two hours. That's not content. <laughs> this this was content? Yes, uh, we just filled like two hours with one thing. Like, it's perfect. I will say that I should probably have brought them in a little earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's timestamps. I mean, it's no good me saying that now because people have already gotten to the end at this point, but... There'll be timestamps that will split it up, and if people want to go to the expert opinions, they can just skip to it. <laughs> can confirm this was content there you go see <laughs> wonderful all right um do you want to say goodbye guys bye <laughs> thank goodbye, you guys, guys for watching see you next time bye